A Florida lawyer claims he's found a legal loophole that lets anybody beat a DUI checkpoint. According to his website, fairdui.org, it's as easy as not opening up your car window and not saying a word. A video demonstration has gotten more than two million views on the Internet. Take a peek. I remain silent. No searches. I want my attorney. And also, on the flyer, I have my valid registration, my valid insurance, and my driver's license. The big question is, is this encouraging drunk drivers just to beat the law? Peter Rapp, joining us right now, is attorney and author of Fair DUI, Warren Redlick. And Steve Razor is an attorney with a specialty in DUI law. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so Warren, let me get this straight. If you're pulled over at a checkpoint, you simply hold up this flyer that you've got, and it says, I'm not going to open the window. I, I want to talk to my attorney. I remain silent. No searches. I want my lawyer. You've done this. Explain why it's working. Uh, because the police are very restricted in a checkpoint as to what they can do, and the guidelines are they're supposed to ask to see your license. Every checkpoint's different, but they're supposed to ask to see your license, and you show it to them through the window. And their guidelines don't give them more leeway than that. This, the courts have been very limiting on what they can do in a checkpoint. And you're complying. I think people think this is somehow confrontation with police. You're complying with the checkpoint. You're stopping. You're ex asserting your rights, which you have every right to do, and you're showing the police officer the documents he needs to see. Mm -hmm. And we've done about 80 of these videos. The police officers are fine. They let us go. So in other words, uh, the police officers are simply reading that along. And by law, you don't have to open up your window? Correct. There, there are certainly people who disagree with me about this. And the key is you don't voluntarily roll down your window. If you're ordered to roll down your window, I think in general it's a good idea to follow the police's orders and Absolutely. not get beat up or whatever. But if, you, if, you're, if it's an order, now you have something I can use to defend you in court if something comes up later. Right. If you voluntarily roll down your window, I've sacri you've sacrificed an argument that I need to defend you. Okay, Steve, you've got a problem with this. What is it? Well, a couple of problems. Number one, what you're doing, in essence, by holding up this sign is you're drawing attention to yourself, which is not what I think you want to do when you're going through one of these checkpoints. You could very well be waved on without any interaction with the police whatsoever, depending on how the checkpoint is designed. The other problem is what you alluded to uh, previously, is that this may be encouraging a conflict with the police who are not familiar with this particular type of tactic, and also the individuals that may be displaying the sign if they are asked to lower that window, they may be under the false impression that they don't have to do that. And then you're asking for trouble. And I think that you did a real disservice to any individual that has to go through one of these checkpoints. Warren, aren't you can afraid, I, I ask what? Warren, aren't you afraid by, by showing people how to do this, some drunk driver is going to wind up getting through the checkpoint and could cause some serious damage to themselves or other people? No, I don't worry about that at all because this is something that's difficult to do if you're, if you're drunk. It requires you to be patient. It requires you to remain silent. It requires you to follow instructions. Those are all things that police test for when they have you on the side of the road. They look for whether you're impatient. They look for whether you follow instructions well. So these are things that if you're, if you're able to do this, then you're, you should do well on the side of the road with the police roadside test anyway. All right. Steve, I'm going to give you the final word. Okay. I mean, the bottom line is you should roll down your window. I mean, that's the bottom line. That's what these checkpoints are designed to do is for the police to be able to detect whether or not you are, in fact, intoxicated. If you're not rolling down that window, you're, in essence, getting in the way of the police investigation, which has already been deemed to be constitutional by the U.S. Supreme Court. All right. A good discussion. Uh, Warren Redlick, Redlick, the author of Fair DUI, and Steve Razor. We thank you both for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you.